I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, and just like that river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. My heart goes out to you who knows criminality before you can speak your name from the womb. You were labeled police bait and in the waiting room you lay prostrate waiting on everybody that you could have been. And we'll never know how much of a man you would have been because a big black body becomes fear soon as white see it. We, Godzilla to them, we the villain only living to steal, kill, and destroy the day police stand with us against police brutality is the day they stop supporting police brutality. I'm sorry I haven't been to more protests. I just needed my mental health. I needed to hold on to, st to stability because I have never felt more unsafe in my life. Traumatized by weak and powerful police potentially getting away with the murder of my soul. My beautiful soul and the souls of black folks. Our lynchings have always been justified. If I die today, justice wouldn't be justice when the justice system sees my black skin and my black witnesses. There are police officers on every corner of every block in my neighborhood, and I have seen injustice. I have seen us treated like liars before citizens, like troublemakers before citizens. We are demonized by police who can't even police them themselves. I have seen them and they are trying to think that they are going for peace when the only thing they police is injustice. I know that the only thing that there was was never peace. There was only quiet, quiet rage and quiet complacency, quiet theory and quiet sorrow. I was scared to leave my house, more afraid of the police than the purported violence on the south side because they get away and we get treated like terrorists when the only think we terrorize is white supremacy I was scared and I cowered and I seceded and receded in fear of a fearful white man because his fear has power and my fear must be thuggish don't you see this is international cold war and it's civil war we the propaganda do you see that the belief of Mike Brown as a thug is to believe his father is absentee and his mother is a single complacent neglectful welfare queen and couldn't raise a black boy into a black man it is to believe every stereotype about black bodies and black lives have validity. They warren on black bodies by killing the black prototype. Mike Brown was a boy turning into a man. Tamir Rice was a boy turning into a man. Eric Garner was a man who was turned into a victim. And all us blacks watch in empathy. And I want to be able to chant. And I want to be able to believe that black lives matter. That black lives matter. Matter all black lives matter trans black lives matter queer black lives matter woman black lives matter gay black lives matter poor black lives matter all black lives matter